Hello, hello everyone. I am really full of honor. Honor. I feel really glad to uh, can have this opportunity to in the formal way because we have a lot of opportunity to speak in the informal way. We we speak a lot. We are not only uh, collaborators. We are also good good friends. We we speak. We speak about us, about our problem. Blah blah blah. And uh, I am really full of honor to. Uh, have here for us, only for us, Mahe Draidi. That is the, um, uh, the uh, responsible. Uh, the president. The president, sorry. The president of the organization with this hard name, Al Rahala Theater. Al Rahala Theater Berlin organization. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Al Rahala Theater Berlin organization. Uh, okay, Mahe, please. Tell us uh, uh, your uh, process, your your story, your history. Yes, about your yes. organization. Actually, uh, Rahala Theater uh, uh, was created in 1985 in uh, Palestine as experimental theater school, and uh, it is one who founded or developed the theater or the, gen the Palestinian theater in Palestine. And uh, I was lucky to, to study and to be one of the important persons in this uh, theater. And I did a lot of productions with this theater after my study. And uh, in 2008, uh, this theater uh, was closed. And in that moment, I was in Italy. So I create, I carried the same name from Palestine and I call it Laboratory of Arrahala Theater in Arezzo, in Tuscany. And we worked in this theater until 2013. Then I left Italy to go to, to Germany. Uh, and in Berlin, I created an infor informal group with the same name, Travelers uh, Theatre uh, of Berlin. And, uh, and, and we did a lot of productions, a lot of laboratories uh, during from 2000, uh, uh, the end of 2013 until uh, 2018, in these five years. Uh, and after that, we start to, uh, to think uh, seriously to create a, a formal association, but uh, to continue with the same name. So we call it Arrahala Theater and with definition Berlin because our, um, our place is in, in Berlin. So now our association is really a new, in like two years, two years and now two years and a half. But we are carrying the history like more than 30 years from Palestine. And, and this, is, this means that <clears throat> we carry also the responsibility of our uh, techniques and our methods, uh, the things that we learned during this experimental theater. And we try to continue uh, to have our responsibility with our, uh, with our theater in, in Berlin. So this is the name Arrahala means travelers. So we are traveling because our philosophy is we travel from place and place and we don't look, take care about uh, to be stable in some place. So we should our journey is always continue. Like so economic. this is the concept. Yes, this is our concept. I, I uh, I'm real cool. Okay, I, w I want to I want to give. I know this. <laughs> I want to uh, try to explain. Uh, more uh, in deep. Uh, uh, they speak about the topic of your organization. Yes. Uh, the principal topic. Yes. How the theater can give and not only take, but yes. take and give, no? Yes. No, this is a really important question because um, we are uh, we are in the center of the uh, of this circle of this process because uh, the people who is involved in our theater. They are motivated people in some in somehow, like uh, so. You can consider that uh, our theater is social theater. So we are uh, we are facing social problems, and uh, during the, the theater we try to give uh, uh, opportunities or some solutions or some uh, consolation for the people. And the people who is coming for us because he don't feel good, uh, and uh, he try to practice the theater. After that, he start to feel good. And there is other people. Um, uh, they are coming because they are shy, on they can't, uh, they can't speak with the public, or they have problems with their relations with the people or with love. So everyone who is coming to our theater, uh, he finds something. For example, from my experience, now uh, officially from 2014 until today, we worked in our theater with more than 800 people, with young and uh, adults and uh, children. And I can tell you from, uh, as example, 
like uh, we had a lot of people especially with the refugees because most of the people who is coming to theater they are refugees uh, beside uh, the germans and we try to connect them together first they learn the language and uh, uh, socially they become more near close and so it's easy to be integrated it's like we, we had the people who came to the theater and they try to kill themselves because uh, they came from the war countries and uh, they don't know exactly from where they want to start. And uh, let me tell you that uh, uh, in which way we help them, we help them in the way that they can find all of the answers inside of them. So w this, is, uh, this is our uh, concept. And uh, there's a lot of people, they come to us, for example, they don't know what they want to study. And uh, during these uh, laboratories uh, that we involve, they discover uh, themselves, they discover the, their skills, they develop their personalities. A lot of people, they are shy to speak, so they find a way to explore themselves, to inspire themselves during this activity. So what I can tell you that, um, I don't know because uh, I am a theater man, but I believe so much in the theater that is as uh, a real connection to the community. There is no fake. Uh, even the people who come to our theater say, oh, I am good, I studied theater, and uh, start to explain their skills, and we, say, we, we tell them, uh, simple, come on stage and show us what you have. Yes, yes, so theater this, is not, not it's, only... It's really real, and uh, this is uh, like to answer you what you receive, and we, we give so much, and uh, we receive the experience of these people, uh, yes. uh, of course, and we develop, we develop our uh, concepts by taking by sharing this experience uh, with the people. So. The, the, the theater, where the focus is not the performance, the, yes. the result, the artistic moment, but the, uh, the, the, the focus is the, uh, the tools. Yes. The art like tools, banal, yes. really banal, but uh, easy. Yes. And uh, if we use the theater, what, uh, how we can involve the yes. community, how you can enter in there, it's a little... And, but and, uh, it is, it is a, uh, in my mind, create the connection for the other question. Yes, okay. before, please, I want to mention something important. What is interesting for us, it is not the production, the final production yes. in the end. The process is really important. Yes. So we give focus for the process, not for the final production. Uh, this, is, this is the, give me the opportunity to think about, okay, yeah. but how you found the money? for uh, your organization this is a good question <laughs> <laughs> interesting question actually we try uh, to do our projects uh, uh, in the way that the, the money it could not be as a problem or a block our process like we are working in the association if we have money we can be more active if we don't have money we are doing the same work so most of the people and when i am one of them we don't take the money from our association so it's completely uh, volunteer work so uh, and the guys the team who is working with us is is the same now we are we are developing our association like now we, we talk uh, to german people they are uh, qualified and they try now to write the projects and we presented for the foundations that is coming from the state or private foundations and sometimes it's like if you are lucky your project passing uh, if you are not lucky uh, you don't have money so we make the plan in the way to have the balance uh, for all the year uh, if we have money yes we we maybe we can be more active and we do uh, a lot of activities uh, but if we don't have money instead to, to to make five activities we make two activities and i want to say something important like uh, we have a partnership in Berlin with another uh, theater organization uh, called Intercultural uh, Theater Syndrome, uh, Center of Intercultural Theater, that they have uh, the theater there and uh, they give us the possibility to use the, the theater uh, for the whole month and we don't pay uh, the rent for them. And this is really very important. At the same time, we help them to uh, make a promotion and to do the activities that they have it inside of this organization. So yeah, this is uh, the answer Great. to your question. Uh, so, uh, good luck. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and, um, okay, you use theater. Uh, so, uh, your, your target group yes. in, uh, in the specific, uh, uh, ah, okay, you are yes. also in no, contact. I mean, uh, as a target, we, we are working with three targets. So first of all, children uh, like from four years uh, until uh, 12. Okay. This is one target. The second target is from 12 until uh, 17. The third is from 18 uh, 
until 55, so 60, it's, it's open. This is the three targets, and uh, we try always to make a balance uh, between these three targets. Uh, I want to mention uh, you something really very important Be beside our laboratories and our activities. We organize two festivals uh, during the year, and like with a small budget, but uh, Important. Uh, important, really. It's like um, uh, the last year we involved uh, 500 children in three days for the um, children festival. We just used uh, the flyer on Facebook and we thought, okay, 100 children, they will come. And we discovered 500 children and we were four people. And we do it for three days with a budget uh, 2,000 euros. <laughs> and it was full these three days of activities and we organized um, a festival we uh, call it uh, 48 hours of Nikon theater and we participate in this festival as organization and as artist, artist of course and um, uh, we produce during the year at least uh, two productions one now we, we produce the last uh, production was about the street theater speaking about the racism and solidarity and um, now we are producing um, a theater play for small children who is in kindergarten. So uh, beside our activities, we, we also uh, keep the connection with the community to give them theater productions. Yeah. Okay. About the, 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 the word Erasmus Plus word, how you enter in this uh, oh, content? This is a really a nice story, a good question about it. It was um, like by, by chance, we didn't really plan it. Um, a room, it was a, a German association who called me uh, to help them to coordinate the groups because they have Erasmus Plus. So I went with this organization as a guest. Okay. So in a room, I, I met Chaluka and uh, he started to explain for me Erasmus Plus if I would like to participate. In that moment we had uh, this informal group, not as association. I told him we are not an uh, organization, he told me it's okay. So uh, in 2018 we came here at St. George in this place and we did this uh, sharing care Erasmus Plus. And in that moment really we liked so much Erasmus uh, Plus. The idea of Erasmus Plus was the meaning of sharing the experience and how you can develop your uh, skills during this special training and exchange. So we, we start to plan seriously to continue and to make it one of these uh, strategic programs in our association. Uh, yeah, in these two years, uh, we participate in eight projects. Uh, so it's really uh, so much for us, but um, at least we, we tried uh, to give the chance for the volunteers that do not have experience. So all of them who came here, uh, they didn't have any experience of sharing uh, of, of Erasmus Plus. So when, when they come back, we, we take the feedback and uh, we try to catch what they catch exactly, which experience they have it. But I, I want to tell you that uh, uh, the results that everyone is happy from this, uh, from this experience of Erasmus Plus. So now uh, we blame with, uh, with Imaginaria. For example, Imaginaria is a partner, very important partner for us. And uh, our strategic partners uh, from Turkey, from Spain, uh, f uh, and uh, Macedonia, uh, and uh, who has also Italy, yeah. The, uh, for us, uh, real now we become more than uh, partners. Like uh, we have, we create this kind of connection, very strong, and I hope that we can continue. So uh, I think. Now we are in the process that we are developing the idea of Rasmus Plus and we, in which way we can connect ourselves more than to be partners. So this is the next step for us in Berlin to be, this is our dream, to be like uh, the station where we can also receive and we can do Rasmus Plus. It's not easy, but... Good luck. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. This. Thank you. Um, okay, we... we mm. We won't speak, spoke about the volunteers, but uh, you said before, now you are all volunteers. <laughs> yes, no, I, I can say something re very important, like in the beginning we were, uh, we were um, t uh, asking and looking for the volunteers from Berlin and in one moment we uh, said, okay, we are representing Germany, so why we can't open it uh, for the whole Germany? I know, I, I know that this is really difficult for, the, for organizing and uh, uh, coordination. On, uh, but we tried, and so the last year we had uh, one person from Dusseldorf and uh, 
Uh, this time we have a mission. I don't remember the name, but I remember him. His name is Muhammad, but and uh, the other name is uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, he has this fun name. I don't remember. Muhammad. He is Syrian, and he is studying okay. in university. So he called. Uh, we put like this announce in Facebook, and he he contact us and said, I would like to to to, to participate, but I am I am living in Dusseldorf. I'll say okay. The, and this time we, we took uh, a guy, uh, his name also is Muhammad, is coming from Munich, from München. So uh, we want to see, we want to experiment because it's really it's hard uh, to send people that you don't meet them or you speak with by them by telephone, for example, because uh, yes. uh, there's a long distance uh, between Berlin and München or Düsseldorf. But w- uh, this is our intention is to call people from the whole Germany uh, mm-hmm. for the next projects. Uh, this one and uh, the second thing that if you if you notice uh, most of our volunteers who participate in Rasmus Plus uh, they are uh, immigrants they are not German and this is uh, really sometime uh, we start to think about it with that we are presenting representing Germany and uh, sometimes we don't have any German with us <laughs> like this is just to give you an example uh, what's the meaning of immigration? Like <laughs> we are immigrated in in Germany, and most of our volunteers they are refugees, and uh, they are in the integration process, and they are representing Germany. I think there is no example could be strong more than this example that we give it in in, in our uh, Rasmus Plus. <laughs> yes, it's true. <clears throat> Grazie, Mayer. Grazie mille. Uh, yes. So. We will see soon. Now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this chance uh, to speak about me and about my organization. And uh, good luck for all of the associations, the organizations, and go ahead with Erasmus Plus.